he's like, fuck you. You son of a bitch. Yeah, that cat... That cat is a little bit bored, and will be for another week, because... You know... We have... We have essentially cleared out all the interesting shit. There's a million fucking... There's a million fucking boxes in here that she could be rubbing up against. Oh, that was the dog. I was gonna whack him. But, yeah, it don't matter none. Yeah, ev eventually, if I ever end up getting fucking partnered doing this shit, Azzy will be the primary focus of, uh... Preston, you hear that noise? Oh no, that's a provisioner who doesn't know how to walk across the... Doesn't know how to walk across the, the bridge. Yeah, that cat is a, a needy, needy animal. Around 11 o'clock, she'll start meowing at me that I need to get my shit together and get my shit in gear because she desperately... Desperately needs me to fucking... Uh, got a dangerous look about it. Hope you ain't here for me. To get petted. She throws herself on my bed and then just looks at me like, Okay, this is my job. Now do your job. If you follow uh, me or Elena on Twitter, you saw that she actually did something for the first time over the weekend, which is roll up next to me and then just lay there. Uh... And, and wait for love, basically. Nice job with those defenses. The entire time that I, I need right now. Hard work. I think Preston needs that I was in the bed there. Let's trade. Sure let's, thing. Let's not. But you can give me that, that, and that since you don't need it for anything. I would really appreciate it if you got out of the way of this Tato so that I could pick it. Get your motherfucking ass out the way, sir. Okay, good. We both know you don't need anything. Alright, we need to do something else here. Evermeadow, have a fantastic evening. <laughs> I love the build for it right now. Yeah, no, it, basically we're using Pain Train, and in a second we're going to use... Um, we're going to use uh, the Tesla armor. It does work, it just doesn't work. Casually robbing them settlers. Well, I mean, look at them for Christ's sakes. You think a single one of them thought for a single second that it was a good time to plant some of that food that they've been grow growing and eating? No, I planted all this shit, and they just showed up, and they're just eating it up. There's 18 people and 21 beds. There's plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of power, plenty of defense. So I guess they're... That's, that's surprising, actually. To visit. Time to get real. I almost thought you wouldn't. Where are hey, you? Now that you're back here in Sanctuary, how would you like a job? A job? For me? Yeah, I think you're... Nope. What are you doing? Yanking my chain again? I'm not yanking your chain. We can make some of these noodle cups. Oops, I should have made that. The squirrel and a stick. And we'll keep all the dirty water in there. Store all the junk. What else do we need to store in here? Uh, dirty water, I guess. This is a mute fruit. Remaining potatoes. I guess that's it. The rest of the stuff is fairly useful at any given time. 
I love how many shitty half full fusion cores we have here. Sanctuary. Shut your dirty mouth, madam. Let's see. Nothing in there. We don't want to use up the steel on that shit. You know what? Since okay. Well, let's try this. Something tells me that we're going to be boned on materials for this stuff. But the most important thing is the Tesla coils. Oh, we actually do have a fair amount of adhesive. And this might not go too poorly. Uh, so we'll have to go up from 5 to 6 when we get armor level 4. But still a good idea to get all this stuff now. I guess I don't use the the, the stuff I have been making very often, do I? Alright, now the next step is... This was probably a good idea. And I think we don't need anything on the arms. The legs we can go up to... I mean, we could do explosive vent, but we're not going to do a whole lot of stomping damage. Probably the best thing to do would either be to reduce action point cost for sprinting. Uh, which is a good idea. And then the other one might have been... Increase the sprint speed at additional action point cost, which would probably be a bad idea. So we'll do the optimized servos here. Take over word three two one. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Okay. So we're almost down to the wire with aluminum. Which is too bad because the next the the last step is gonna be getting the maximum energy shielding that you can get. Which is actually the prism shielding. It doesn't use a ton of aluminum, to be honest, so maybe we'll be okay. It's weird that X01 MP EMP shielding... Oh, I guess you can use this. You don't need to have any levels of science to put this on here, so that's nice. But having some energy resistance would really help out a lot. So that's why I'm thinking that. The explosive shielding is what I used on the permadeath run, but if I get killed by a mini-nuke, that's just fucking unlucky balls. The prism shielding is going to be more useful, generally. So that's the torso. Let's do the helmet. And we just got to do the legs. Hopefully we have enough for that. It looks like we will. It was the aluminum that I was concerned about, and it looks like we're going to have just enough. Now, you know, without the without a paint job, it does look vaguely, you know, vaguely boring. But this is as, this is almost as good as it gets. The only point that we can go up from from here is another point of armor. And it looks like we're going to need a lot more aluminum before we can get to this point. Because just upgrading the helmet will go up by 11. So aluminum is aluminum is the new gold for us. But as far as it goes, this is some tremendous armor. That That torso is going to be the other point of damage that we can get. 
There's a few places where a ra where you know that people have mini nukes. I'm feeling swell. But see, with this on, I should be able to see even in the dark enemies at a distance, which I don't have the ability to do with with my compass or whatever. So, let's see. Do I need to do anything else here? I guess not. I mean, I could take these out of here and sell them. Because I'm never going to use them for anything ever again. Is there anything in here I need? How's my purified water stash looking? 25. I like to have 30 on me usually. My stim packs are good. Alright. Oh, hissed with his... With this con continuous follows. Alright. Now we're gonna do one other thing here. And of course... Not your favorite fucking time of the day, but... It is time now to... One thing I love to do when I get done streaming is host one of my viewers. And a lot of people, um... A lot of people really like that shit. I'm feeling so. Look at the If you uh, if you do a stream, I will be more than happy to check that shit out. To spread it around. Oh, hey, sweetie. Hey, Carla. Hey there. Trading? I love your red body. Always happy to make a sale. Let's see here. We have quite a lot of bullshit we need to hawk, so that's why I was like, "Hey, Carla." It's always nice to be able to turn all of our shit into something useful. We never really are going to use that Skeeto Spit, are we? Oh shit, I need to turn that over to book in. You better give me that shit. You better bring it! sell the ones that are not at half or more. Uh, let's start with buying up everything you got that has a magnifying glass next to it. Except for that circuitry. Oops. Well, maybe we will buy the circuitry. No, I'll get screwed that way. Oops. Let's see. I accidentally did buy one of her or two of her shipments. And there we go. Not that we need any of that shit, but uh, jam it all in there and there you go. Now I didn't end up building a uh, I guess I didn't end up building any of the stuff to store my shit. A bobblehead stand and a cabinet, typically what I usually do. In fact, I almost always arrange my settlement in just this way. I guess it is a miscellaneous, huh? Is that all that I have in here? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I need that. Cool. That's cool. Oh, what up, Goku? In. In Hebrew, welcome. What's what's up? What's up, man? What are we looking at here? Oh, that's not. Well, I guess that's pretty shit. Do I? How many of these antibiotics do I have? Let's take that. I guess. They didn't tell me much. All it takes. Just to make sure everyone fills out their forms. I was supposed to win a pack of steak novels. Okay. So we tricked out this power armor almost completely. 
We just need armorer four. And probably a fucking ton of aluminum. Let's remove this. Remove, I say. And oh, the quest log. It's... It's 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 real. The quest log is out of control. Um, yeah, we'll leave mechanical. Well, I don't know. Mechanical mess menace isn't ever going to get any easier, but I don't know. Maybe we should not even fucking worry about this for right now. Because every time I encounter a robot after I finish this law uh, this quest, it's going to be rough, because they have all kinds of crazy shit. Railway spikes and all that. We could probably do troubled waters at this point. We could probably free Nick Valentine, too. It would be kind of interesting to just cram all the quests on there, but that might get a little bit confusing. Anyways, yeah, so we've got the We've got the targeting hut or whatever so that I can see enemies or basically any living creature at a distance. Which is nice because they don't show up on the compass. I don't want to get surprised by somebody. Um. But we also have the Tesla coils. And we have the optimized servos so we can sprint for a longer distance and it won't be as rough on our AP. It will still be rough on the fusion core, though. Um, let's see, what else can you do to, to aid on your fusion cores? I guess nuclear physicist is the only other thing you could do, huh? But now we're to the point where all I really need to do is crash into a bunch of dudes and then kind of sprint around them until the timer for pain train rolls down again and then I can do it again. I think it's I think the timer is something like four to six seconds. But now I'll do latent damage just by standing next to creatures that need to be wailed on, so. Yeah, we're doing good. I mean, you know, there's a lot of shit we can do to, to optimize this build, but as far as the ba the basics of it goes, we're, we're more or less done. I mean, we've got, we, you know, we need to have a, um, the Mark VI instead of the Mark V power armor. But we're not going to need another set of power armor so long as we live. Yeah, take that. That didn't do very much damage to her, though. Yeah, if it turns out that um, this doesn't is not effective at all, it's not doing very much damage to that rad stag. Then it may be actually better to do jump jets and do power shots in a while. But that's a ways away as well, because we'll need armor four and science four before we can do that. Nice. Well done, Carla. Or no, is this a provisioner? Yeah, she I don't sounded. See anything. Uh, I think we're okay. Okay, good. What you think really matters. Rad stags are just generally hostile. Yeah, I recall using the uh, Tesla coils against the ghouls when we were doing the fridge. And it was annihilating the ghouls. I can't imagine that the rad stags have a great deal of energy resistance, however. My guess would be that they have something like no energy resistance. So, couldn't say. Some rad stags do attack you, though. They don't just run away. Like that albino rad stag that fucking annihilated Morgan Freeman. That was, uh... <laughs> That was an interesting moment in my in my Fallout career. I don't know if I've ever been killed by a rad stag in any other in any other playthrough on any other difficulty throughout the entire course of my playing. I don't know if I've even really been hit by another rad stag, but that one killed me in one hit despite all the armor I was wearing. I love it when Nightbot goes bananas. 
with the high dad jokes. The radiation made them so ducking resistant. Yeah, they're very, very ducking resistant. Yeah, and, you know, if it, if we decide that we're not doing much with the Tesla coils, because I kind of, I was kind of banking on them being really, really strong, it might be better to use the jump jets. The problem with the jump jets is that, or I don't even know what the fuck you call them, not jump jets, the jet pack, I guess. Jump jets is a armored core thing. But it, you know, if it's not very effective, then we'll use the jetpack. But the problem is that you can't use the jetpack inside, and most of the things that we have to kill are inside. So, legendary Tesla stuff in the mechanist plot. Yeah, but does it do a ton of damage though, or does it just do the same amount of damage? Oh, that's right. The Tesla stuff from Automatron does give you. Um, like more energy damage, huh? A perk that increases energy damage? Not so far as I'm aware. There's a couple of a couple of companion perks that increase energy resistance. Uh, Codsworths and uh, X688 both do energy resistance. Go! Oh, fuck me! What up, goat? That was not an invitation, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> call me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's better or worse. Because being able to take damage might be more important for this build than being able to, to give it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can easily get down to where... Um, to where Kellogg is just by crashing through and buff jetting through all of those goddamn synths on the way down there. But if you'll recall last time we did this, we did it in T45 and we kinda got wrecked. You sure do. Yeah. Far Harbor doesn't have a whole lot of interior shit, though. Know what I mean? Fuck, you know what we need that I don't have yet? That I'm, That's kind of embarrassing. We need to either have high lockpick or high hacking, because we don't have either of those yet. And... You know, even having advanced in each makes a big difference. Yeah, the Tesla armor might be the way to go. What are you talking about? You can't hit me through there. turn these turrets off. As useful as they seem to be, they're actually not. Oh, fuck you. And for some reason you can't reprogram these turrets, which is b bullshit. But, uh, Better to be able to uh, just stand there and kill all the Excellent. all the guys than. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we can pain train past them because last time we really couldn't go anywhere or do anything. But again, I stand by my claim that not being able to reprogram these particular turrets is bullshit.
Oh, fuck. Okay. That was deliciously dangerous and devilish. Let's see if we can at least lead these guys as far up here as possible. Get out of the way, you silly filly. Past the phone zone. Thank you. damage is not brilliant, is it? We had some serious trouble with them, with the, uh, mechanist shit, though. Surface. Oh, good. I hear something. You hear nothing. Let's see, I guess I need to go this way, don't I? But we're gonna go this way, because there's a suicider following me this direction. Well, yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get for science level 3. So... At least for a while, that's about all we're gonna be able to get. Well, but I, yeah, when we were playing the, as the fridge, we were doing a ton of extra damage. I'm not sure what the difference is when I, when I was using the Tesla armor back then. Maybe it has something to do with... Well, let's see here. Yeah, we apparently don't generate adrenaline. Because we never kill anything. So... Maybe that's something that, that matters. Jump jet, explosive vents, and the T-60 stuff, you think? The, the, well, with the Tesla stuff. The problem is the Tesla stuff is T-60 stuff. We'll have less damage resistance in that scenario. Sorry, Geeky Meerkat. We had quality options before. Did it go down? Oh, these guys are the cutest. What? What are we talking about here? The weirdest thing you've ever eaten? The weirdest thing I've ever eaten is cow stomach lining. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yeah. I'll ask Greeny to get. Now I. All right, Miss White. That's great. Hopefully, I'm not over Because now it's time to. Now it's time to cure you of junkitis.